Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I am journaling in my inspired Bible. I am in the book of Matthew chapter 8 starting in verse 23 and this is the passage where God talks about or Jesus is calming the storm um, when the disciples are in the boat with him. So I was thinking about this. I have a brother who lives in Orlando and he, you know, he obviously will be getting some of the effects of Hurricane Irma. And so I really wanted to study a, ver you know, a story in the Bible about Jesus helping us in times of when we have a storm in our life. And I know this is just like Hurricane Irma is a literal, a literal storm. Um, but I know our family in general has gone through just a crazy whirlwind of stuff the past couple months, um, which is a storm in our life. So, um, anyway, right now, um, I'm just worried about my brother so and his family. So I wanted to look at this passage. I've studied this before and we we teach this story in Awana Cubbies that I teach at church and so it's just an import just an important story. It's a great story to just remind us of how God helps us in our time of need and when we're going through uh, trouble. But it says starting in verse 23, then Jesus got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. Suddenly a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up shouting, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. And Jesus responded, why are you afraid? You have, you have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves. And suddenly there was a great calm. The disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked, even the wind and waves obey him. So this is just, it's so important. You know, it's easy for us to have faith in God when everything is just great, but it's harder. And sometimes we don't have faith when things are not so great. And so, you know, just whatever you're going through is whether it's a lost job, a death in the family, a, an illness in the family, or yourself, uh, problems in a relationship, or just things like the fires that are going on in California, or, you know, the hurricanes that are happening right now. It's just, there's so much stuff going on in this world. This is just a great, you know, it's a great reminder that Jesus is with us. God is with us in our time of need. And if we believe in him, then he will help us get through these things because he's not always going to rescue us from these situations, but he will help us through, you know, if we have faith. So anyway, I want to do some waves on here and I have my watercolor pencils. These are just some artist loft watercolor pencils from Michaels. I have some blues and I have a brown and a red because I want to do the boat and then some waves down here. I'm going to draw it in with just a regular pencil and then color it in with the pencils, the colored pencils, and then use my watercolor pen as the water down here, the paintbrush. And then I have a couple markers. This is a metallic silver to add some, you know, a little bit of detail like highlights. And then I have this darker blue gel pen and I'll kind of outline some of the details of the waves and things. So I have that. And then I pulled out some of my sticker letters. I think I want to pull out even the wind and the waves obey him along the side. So I have these letters, they're from David Walker, some that I had in my stash. I also have these, what are they? 
mylittleshoebox.com. I don't even know where I got these from, but I have them in. They're just tiny little ones, so I'll probably just use these for the in-between words. And then I have these from Creative Memories. They're called Ocean Sky, so they're like water. So I'm, I might use those. I'm not sure. I, I like these the best, so it might be a combination of these two here. So I'll do that. I have my Illustrated Faith ink, my my date stamper, and my Illustrated Faith Bible mat. So I will get things cleared off and we will get started. Right, guys so here's my final entry I really like how this turned out I was kind of I wasn't really sure about what I was gonna do with the lettering but I really liked the David Walker letters that I had found so I it just worked out I 
I just put the wind and the waves obey him and that part just really stands out to me in this verse um, yeah so I went in a little bit with the dark blue, blue marker to pull out some details and s put some silver in there it's kind of hard to see it on camera but so if you like this give me a thumbs up Leave me a comment and subscribe, and I will see you again next Wednesday for, for another Bible journaling video. You can catch me on Mondays for a Plan With Me video, and then Thursday or Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday are other random crafty videos, so I hope to see you there. Um, subscribe if, if you're not subscribed to my channel, and I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.